So, okay, we can all agree resistance is futile, right, when it comes to everything. People just don't like change. Like, I'm sure many of you out there have probably not changed your underwear for the past couple of days, right? I'm sure there's somebody out there. But the important thing about technology is that it's so important to your business. So you've got to go with the times as far as change, or you're going to be left behind and end up in business hell. So the challenge with that is that most employees find technology stressful. Six out of 10, as a matter of fact. And so how do you deal with that? How do you make the transition easy to make your employees embrace technology? So number one is that you've got to know your technology journey as far as your company's concerned. There's so many products out there like Windows, Mac, Samsung, and Android. It doesn't make any sense just to jump on the bandwagon and go with the first thing. So you've got to plan your path out. Most, second most important thing is that you've got to make sure that your employees are following the rules when it comes to technology use. Because all chaos can occur if you let the employees have their way with the technology in your office. <laughs> Case in point. But the realistic view of that is, is that most companies, if they succumb to a cyber crime, it's because some stupid employee clicked on a file or an attachment or went to a website that they weren't supposed to. So you've got to set rules. And you definitely don't want to make technology too complicated for your employees to use. If you've got employees that are used to Windows products, don't go switching to Macintosh because some tech guy told you that that's the way to go. Make sure that you're talking to their language and so that they can understand how the technology in their office works. And make sure that you're giving your employees a regular dose of technology as far as training and making sure that they understand what's going on with the tech in your office atmosphere. And make sure that when it comes to getting help as far as technology, that they have an easy to use resource to go to. Make sure it's personable, make sure it's user friendly, and make sure it is able to be comprehended in a way that they're able to comprehend it. And I know you're going to laugh because I'm the tech guy, right? Because it's like, stay away from the geeks. Well, I'm not going to consider myself a geek, but geeks really don't know how to talk to people. So if you can have a technology team in your office that knows how to talk to people and doesn't talk geek speak, you want to avoid those as, as, as much as possible. So number two, you want to make sure that you include your employees as far as the technology use in your office. Don't just go out and say, well, this was the best thing that we could get. Make sure that you sit down with them and talk to them and find out what's going to work best for your office culture. Because there's a war out there as far as technology is concerned. There's, like I said before, Windows, there's Mac, there's Samsung. There's all sorts of software out there, Salesforce, you name it. And so everyone's going to be throwing everything at you to make you use their product when you've got to go with what your employees want. And you, when you go with that, you've got to explain to them why you're going in that direction. Maybe you've got a bunch of Apple heads in your office, and they're like, well, golly, why are we going with Windows? Explain it to them so that they understand that this is good for the company culture. And know that getting people to change takes time, right? It does. You can't just force somebody, strangle them, and say, hey, you're going to learn this. Give it time, they'll embrace it. And my favorite thing is to make sure that your technology is updated. Because as a tech guy, I go into countless companies where the employees are like, hey, the atmosphere is great, but guess what? The technology is slow, it's outdated, and we can't do and accomplish the tasks that we need to do. Make sure you're asking your employees for their feedback as far as how technology is. Don't just roll with it because you rolled it out. Make sure that you ask, hey, how's it going? How's the technology use going? So make sure that they have feedback so that you can make changes and make sure that they are going to be happy in their environment. And obviously, if you get rid of your old tech, you want to throw it, you want to make sure you dispose of it properly. You don't want to be that company that has to make that call and say, hey, we gave you your company secrets because we didn't wipe your computers the way we were supposed to. And finally, please, for the love of God, I'm going to do my William Shatner, for the love of God, Scotty, <laughs> allow your employees to disconnect from technology, for the love of God. Who likes to be tied up to their technology 24-7, right? No one does. I mean, I don't. And I, your employees don't either. They don't want to be just tied up to tech. So set up an office environment so that your employees can disconnect from technology, spend time with their family, and do great things for your company. So when it comes to technology, your employees make a big difference as the way things work. So make sure you include them on that so that they won't be resistant to change. Thank you.